people, 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 people. Kepasa sakpa se what they do. Welcome to Crime Time News where the difference is in the meds. Call it news with a buzz. A very disturbing trend that we've seen all over Jamaica, all over the news, all over social media. Is a set of men, cannot say for sure one set or a couple of set of men, that has been on some sort of robbery rampage. We've seen several videos in which them hit up some ATM machine, roll out the machine them. We've seen instances in which them running past some people that own some sorts of wholesale infrastructure people. And the most disturbing one, that incident that occurred at Portmore Pines at that JM Bank in which a couple of securities were hit up. One badly hurt, one lost his life, the next one grazed. It seems as if them strike again at a place called Bankhouse Mall. Bankhouse Mall is in Mandeville. People, you've always heard me say, every day that the bucket goes to the well, one day the bottom is going to drop out. But it seems as if these people, them are said to themselves, while we're on a roll, make hay while the sun shines. Which one of those saying is going to come and manifest? Are they going to go on forever? I doubt it very much. Is time going to run upon them? I am speaking about the law of possibility and probability. So anyways, people, there are about six videos that I have, no sorts of voice. In one of the videos, you could clearly see maybe about four or five men dressed in black, their M.O. Them have um, bulletproof vests. Them have a uniform that seems to be that of SWAT team, Popo. They are talking to an ex-man. That man is not in the same sorts of uniform. So therefore, I am assuming that they got entry. Telling these people that they are the Popo. They were talking to the man for a couple of seconds. And then, I don't see the man there again. There was also a next video in which you see them clearly hold somebody. He might be the security or what they call the watchman in the mall. The other videos, you could clearly see them walking up and down, prowling, pacing the place. Whenever they pass any sorts of entrance to the outside world, you would see them look out, run past. So therefore, they would not be in the vision of anybody. Now people, one thing that we've come to realize is that these youths, them tell themselves it is do or D-I-E. Anything or anything. Because of course they are strapped up. Meaning, them have the best vests. Them have the latest rifles. Look like some sorts of a to the K look like some sorts of M to the 16, maybe even A, R to the whatever. People, these people are ready for any eventuality. Anything that pops off, we have to just hope whenever the Popo and them clash, the Popo are equally prepared. Because people, I can almost see it coming. It is in the air, the writing is on the wall. There is going to be some sorts of big C-L-A-S-H between the Popo, the armed force, the security force. This is not going to go on forever. Like me say, they are in the double column right now. They are winning. They are make or take a whole bunch of money. However, sooner or later, like I've always said, every dog has its day. Sooner or later, you will have to pay the piper. It is going to be judgment day. People, whenever that judgment day comes, hopefully the people that are supposed to serve and protect us, hopefully too much innocent people won't be around. Hopefully there won't be a lot of what they call collateral damages. Point blank and period.
Further on in the news and still on the topic of robbery. There was a very disturbing robbery the other day at a place called Portmore Pines, a JN Bank, in which one security guard from Beryllium, he lost his life. That person's name is Mark McKenzie. When he lost his life, as usual, whenever anything goes down on social media, in the news, in real life, you always have the conspiracy theorists. You always have the Bush lawyer, YouTuber, that always come out and put out all sorts of stuff. I know whenever there is some sorts of rumor that is not true on social media, usually everybody or people, a lot of persons in my comment section, especially when I see it back to back, are saying the same thing. One of the things that persons were saying is that Mr. Mark McKenzie had some sorts of lawsuit against the company Beryllium. That is why he did not leave because they are presently in courts. People are saying that this was so that they could not pay him the money because if him lose him life, the money was not going to be transferred to his next of kin or his family, his kids. So people, if you look at your screen, I am showing you a screenshot of what two persons said back to back in my comment section. Now since then, the family have been in contact or one of the family member has been in contact with me. That is his stepbrother. I am going to show you the screenshot if you look at your screen that is the conversation that we had on social media whatsapp to be specific he is telling me he is a stepbrother he wants to see the video i told him the video was very disturbing he still wanted to see it we had a very lengthy conversation and he told me that mark had a very rough life like you see in the screenshot from the text message. At one time, Mark was pretty much homeless. He was staying by some sorts of horse stable in a Caymanas park. Mark would not hurt a fly. Mark is not the person that is involved in any sorts of mix up or passa passa. He has zero enemies. He was just an innocent, hard working man that just happened to be at the scene of a crime and happened to be the person that got the worst of it. There is no sorts of court case. Mark no tea from nobody. Mark no owe nobody. As a matter of fact, he worked his way very hard to achieve what he got. He start from a liquor shop, pan a liquor property, and then he built up around that liquor shop, built up a nice house for himself. Work hard, pay him bills, do whatever he needs to do, go to foreign, fly out to family members. As a matter of fact, my mother lives overseas. So therefore, it is very disturbing when he sees a man, a good man like that, lost his life for no sorts of reason. I am going to let you take a listen, take a look to a voice note that he sent me, pretty much explaining some of the things, some of the conversations that we have or had. Take a listen, take a look. Mark Mackenzie, my stepbrother. Yeah, man. Father of three kids with a mother. You see, Mark is a youth where I years me for cars. Uh, a matter of fact, me migrate from America, uh, migrate from Jamaica to America in the 80s. Leave Mark down there. And I, I always inquire about him, but can't get no number with him. I always ask him. People tell me, say, over came and I spark. People say, they yeah, say, they there, so. And out of blue, they are Jamaica on a vacation, and they are dairy suppliers, and a mark that I see with a truck wake carry cash. I said, Mark! And him look at him and say, blow my brother. 
and you know, him, him work at them, I do them, I do and him come and me and him go like, quick talk. It was a long time, you know, say, the man there, you know, buy the book, quick talk, and him cut and say, give me your number, me give him number. But me can tell you this, the man come, you know, is an honest youth. Never kind youth, never have nothing bad to say about nobody. Me never see him upset yet. Me never see him mad yet with nobody. Since the years I grew, yeah, man, from Greenwich um, to Brighton, yeah, man, cause from we saw Greenwich um, man, more man buy a house at Brighton and he used to come by, come look for his mother. Good youth, good youth. I'm say great youth. I we can't tell this. I tell the body, say, Mark, the best pick me, mother, have, him mother. Have. Me, me not hide it, and I will never put my mouth on and talk again, speak loud. It's the best pick me, his mother, have. I tell you about Mark, you know, man. Mark is unbelievable. 2021, we have some work for doing my father's house of uh, Miami Garden, Florida. And Mark, when my sister asked him to come and help, he never hitch. He scheduled him very, very days off for vacation and he came here to South Florida and helped us. Never turn his nose up. He worked like a cow. Just as he's a man that I know. When he come, used to come by us, he quick to do anything. He never complain. And I'm going to tell you, this kid is very honest. He find a couple of dollars you know, in one of my father's pants. Because my father was Alzheimer's. He don't know where he put nothing. And Mark found it, me and my sister, and nobody knew he found it. And Mark came to us and said, look what I, look what I found. He don't know hundreds of dollars. I mean, it was $60. And I said, you, my sister take 20, Mark take 20, and I take 20. I said, you, honesty, $60 is the thing you could have put in my pocket, and nobody don't know. And he said to me, Junior, I can't get a circle, I can't get a tool. I said, yes, man. Yes, man. My father wouldn't have no problem if he was alive with your big, big feet. Not, not being alive. My father didn't have right mind because my father is still alive. My father of Alzheimer's and him have dementia. And me, he wanted to take it and nobody can stop you. Anybody, me alone can stop from not take it. I mean, I'll stop you. I mean, I tell you if you say, oh, Mark, working, 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 work. We, we put the things in, we can go dump and come back. Mark work like a cow. Never complain. Never complain. Him work, him work, him work. You see the youth and your mark? Him go through some trial and tribulation. No? And this youth never resort to violence. He never go for no gun. He never turn gun man. He never want nobody. He never thief for nobody. Him just keep going and going and them drunk prayer. When me look on the bread, the, all them my step brother. Believe you me. There's one day I'm not sleep for. But we see the video of them kill him. And when Mark run off, and I kill Mark, I said, John, no. You know what I said? I have to ask God to forgive me. I said, John, no, why, why do you not want them boys to fly to Jamaica and kill myself? Yeah, man. If you just want them and just, somebody want them and I can't just make me come kill myself. Because the way they kill you, they kill my dog. I'm like, dog, I yeah. I'm dropped the money and run and I'm going to steal him. I'm going to steal him and shoot him. See him, no? A good youth. He went through a lot in life. And he's still there. He's a father. He's a stepbrother. He's a husband. He's a grandfather. John, no. I'm no wicked. I'm no wicked. I'm not Jamaica. I'm no gunman. I'm no wicked. I'm not making you live for enjoy some of my labor. If you don't know him story, maybe you don't leave him alone, but you don't know him story. But you know what, Mark? Don't worry yourself, you know. Because one thing you know, your soul is in heaven. There's a place for you in, in the Father's mansion. I can tell you that you are going to heaven. For the years you know you from me to Greenwich, I'm 56 years old right now. And I'm Greenwich, I'm a man. I may come know you are going to charm. 
We moved to Britain in 1978. And you used to come by. You never trouble nobody. The youth was, hey, when you grow up, man just keep himself to himself, you know, man. Jarrah Staffari, you know, when the man come check with you, you know, sometimes just in a seat and just sit down, you know. You know, and just a look. Jarrah Staffari, you know. We never get over this. Never. Believe you me. But Mark, what good, me see you. Because I wrote for all of us. It's just how them drunk or you take you out of this world. Love your brother. Now, people, if ever we've heard a heartfelt speech, you hear that this man is hurt, this man is caught up. However, not on the mushy stuff. Our heart is kind of numb, especially as a blogger. So we hear from the stepbrother. And like I told you, there are rumors on social media, YouTube, through some bloggers. But like I've always said, people like mix up passa passa. Nobody wants the truth when the lie is more entertaining. A lot of bloggers, even your top bloggers, pretend tell a whole bunch of lies. However, who know, no, some know, some no really care. The man tell us, this is a father of three kids. I have pictures that are posted on social media. He told you that, listen, he migrates and when he lost contact with Mark, it's like he feel as if something missing in life. Coincidentally, he would buck up in a mark again somewhere in a Kingston, in a Jamaica. He told you, based on his experience and what he know of this man, he know him like the back of his hand. He's honest. He's kind. He's a people person. He is not in any sorts of mix-up why anybody would try to take him away, including his employees, Beryllium. No sorts of court case. It make you know that this man is a one of a kind. You know, I'm going to find people like these. They don't build them like that anymore. He is what you call a genuinely good person. A good friend. Him tell you, say, from him go overseas. And daddy, Mark used to come check him. Even up to last year. This year, sorry. Mark work like a slave. Mark honest, Mark not thief nothing. In tell you about the experience that he had when Mark found some money. It was not a whole bunch of money. Sixty dollars, however, it is the principle, not the amount. So this stepbrother pretty much dispelled all of the rumors that he had some sorts of lawsuit. He was supposed to go overseas the next day. Yes, he has traveled before. But he was not supposed to be leaving no lawsuits. He told you, explain in intricate details the type of struggle that this man went through. He never turned to any sorts of GUN or any sorts of criminality. You could hear that this man was caught up to hear and see the video of his friend laying down upon the ground. D-E-A-D -E like a D-A-W-G. People, just imagine you have a good friend, a relative, and hear or see stuff like this. People, you hear the man, a legal, law-abiding, tax-paying, decent citizen. And if he could come to Jamaica and face those people that took away his friend unjustly, unnecessarily he would people this is sad what is going on in Jamaica the sad part about it this is not an isolated incident every day people go through this every day people lose a friend a family a loved one husband wife whatever it is for no apparent reason because of BS point blank and period so anyways people Thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like this, please show your appreciation by liking,
commenting, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. Bless up.